Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Arrow E. So, lighting is not that good, but we're not talking about video lighting. What we wanna do is talk about photography lighting. Now, I hear a lot of comments and, and flash, right? Flash is so scary. How, how do I take flash photography, especially if you're photographing maybe outside or what if you're indoor? How do you take flash, right? A lot of us might be natural light photographers, but once you add flash, it changes your photography. It changes the mood and there's so many things you can do. Now, I have this on one camera. There's no multi cameras, no nothing. We're gonna keep this as real as possible. I'm keeping it 100 with you. So I wanna show you how you can paint in flash to get a good look. Now I'm gonna use myself as a model. And what I have over here is my camera is straight ahead. I have another flash with an umbrella. And that one is at a 45 degree angle. There's a flash and an umbrella. And I'm gonna show you how you can paint that light in. So first thing, when it comes to flash, don't turn it on yet. We're going to meter for our background right here. So I have my camera. I have my wireless trigger. We're going to do this in real time. So what am I doing? I am going to get a nice crisp image of the background and I want to be in silhouette. So I have my camera set to 250 ISO. Uh, F4 for the uh, aperture and my shutter speed is 250th. Um, I have high speed sync turned on on my flash, but we're not going to worry about that. Um, but with high speed sync, you can move up your shutter speed uh, to a higher uh, sync speed. So all the way up to 8000 of uh, your shutter speed. But I have everything 250 shutter speed. Uh, F4 for the aperture and 250 ISO, right? So let's take a look. So I got my wireless trigger. Here we go. All right. So you can see in this photo right here, the background is nice. You can see the background, but I am silhouetted, kind of like what we have going on right here. And why is that? Well, I want to get the nice background. I want you to see it. I don't want it to be blown out. But now I'm going to paint myself in with lighting. So I don't need big studio lights. I am just using normal flashes. I use the Godox system, but Yongyo, Yung, um, Godox, Canon, Nikon, if you have a wireless trigger, it will work. Off camera flash is great. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna walk over to my camera, turn on those uh, flashes right here. All right. So, like I said, I have my one flash, 45 degree angle. It's going to hit this side of my face, the left side. So we're painting in the light right here. So let's take a look. So we're just gonna use my wireless trigger. All right, so we can see that it flashed and what happened? Well, it looks good, but there's this shadow on my face. Now, there is a way you can kind of get rid of that shadow. You could get a, um, a reflector that will bounce the light. But what I wanna show you is something simple. A second flash. Now, flashes are not that expensive. They're pretty cheap, and you could get two for a great price. Now, with this flash right here, I'm turning it on. My one flash was set to one eighth power. I don't need all this power to overpower the background. You know, if you're into photography and you're a beginner, you do not have to worry about, oh, I need the big flash, I need the big this, I need the big that. No. 
you can get by with the basics. Now, all I'm doing is I'm taking this flash and I have a wall right there. And all I'm doing is angling this flash where it hits the wall and it's going to bounce back to me. When we think about light, light does not go vroom, 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 vroom. No, light always goes in a straight line. So think about it like a laser. It's going to go boom, boom. Remember back when we were watching TV shows and it had the lasers and stuff and it bounces off the mirrors? Light goes like that. Now, I'm just using an orange gel, so it's not going to be as bright and it's going to replicate kind of like a nice daylight. So I'm just going to put this here on this table and I'm going to let the light bounce off the wall and hit my face. So now everything's at one eighth power. I don't need to use all that power uh, for these flashes right here. So we're going to try that now right here. So let's all right, so we can see right here that the image does not cast a shadow anymore. We can just see how awesome it is to bounce light. And here's the key. Here is the secret. You don't have to change anything on your camera. You don't have to change the settings on your camera. Once the settings are set, you can paint in your light any way you like. And that is the secret of Flash. I wanted to make this so it's very easy for everyone to understand, especially if you're a beginner in photography, taking portraits. It is not hard. It is very easy. So I hope everyone had fun. Be creative and tell a better story. This is Zero E.